Alex? We are we still have new business. Did you want to discuss or we just do this? Yes. The list? Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, okay. yeah. So what are we looking at here, Janet, with this list? Okay. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so Darlene compiled the Big Sandy Wish List um, for their library. Some of this, I feel, can be purchased out of regular operating funds. Um, a paper cutter should be able to do that. Um, and I... And I... Feel if I'm recalling correctly, that, and I think that the charging station also uh -huh. would be good. So a lot of regular funds, okay. and then I feel the robotic those are those are low enough requests that there is still money left out of one of the um, dedicated funds in their foundation account. Okay. I'm not sure. I thought they had an ice maker. I can talk to Darlene about like. So it, it, break. Broke. it broke. Okay, so then that's fine. And then the button maker, they did have a button maker. I don't know if this is a nicer button maker, which is fine too. And they have, I think they're super cool. Um, and then the thing about the chair, we had purchased a chair two two years ago, just under two years ago. And I it's been in the bathroom, so I'm not sure, but I can talk to her about that. And then the fridge is to help with um for her to be able to do the summer lunch program. So that was that request. And then, and we talked, I think she was gonna measure, there's a room where the coat rack is because the coat rack doesn't really get used. So we'd be able to tuck it in that corner. And they don't have a fridge at all for some reason. No. There's like a employee fridge and all. Not a big one, but I mean, we're talking about like 60 lunches or whatever. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay. And then the second list is from Sandy Joe, mm -hmm. and she, the explanations are on this one. So she is trying to build a Lego club program. Um, so she has those requests and then headphones, which I think we could probably do headphones out of operating funds. Okay. Um, but then she has put together the, this list about, um, offering a movie and how to classes on technology. Um, so she did her research on that and then the scrapbooking supplies and to be able to do, um, programming with that. So then she has another, the last little section says, things I would like to add to our library to improve it. And she has those. And I I think the book truck cart would be good to go with the bird play with her, but I think the others we can find through okay. regular operating okay. funding. Um, the shed still has not been worked. Sure. And then the, also the money goes to, it's been put in your account. Oh, right. your, you have the you have the option to use that. Um, I was told by the foundation that the foundation is going to take care of that. The order the shed. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that was what the conversation was. Um, okay. I was not. That was at last August meeting. That's when I had strep, and Sammy Joe had brought a shed forward. Like she had it on her list, and yes. the foundation did not agree with that shed, so they wanted to be able to oh, get it nice there. Yeah, and so and, so, and then the shelving. It's not that I haven't wanted to order the shelving, but Sammy Joe doesn't want the shelving ordered until there is a shed, because there is literally no room yeah. in the building. Okay. for the shed. So that was shed. one of the things that we passed to Dan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the trustee member for mm -hmm. yeah Geraldine. for okay. Geraldine, okay. which that was mostly what the talk was about was the you know the shed that would be what do you call it, substantial. Okay, and then we talked about or there was possible talk about redoing the front of the Geraldine Library with grant funding, or is that something later? Mm -hmm. What Tracy brought up. Or no, well, um, but this is mostly what we're looking for as items, not because you and I also. Well, so that's the so idea very of the very small list, as you can see, because I request to the trustees that we um, do our, we need to do our capital. Yeah, we well, need to work on our capital improvement plan and strategic plan. We don't, I don't want to move forward with just more 
little things yes. behind okay. that. So I request that we okay. we work on those. Um, okay. And we still haven't gotten the the fans and lights that we right. haven't right. got that order. And so, one of the yeah. things that that really is that you when you do write to the foundation or that you do state that you have purchased or the items been purchased and you thank them for it and then you like yeah so that a little too so good yeah and then I think at one point we tossed around the yeah, something if we were gonna go big it'd be like a bookmobile to serve I would or something yeah, like, that yeah. like I want that's why I want to look at the strategic plan for the county as a whole so that okay. we can really get into some new grants and 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 make so some my question on that would be which is not is the fact that um, you need to contact maybe those in Hollywood and see if they're interested. Right. No, I yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Make sure yeah. there's an the interest there. If they are yeah, there are people that are but yeah, they are associated with the other board. Right. Yeah. There's been I've had a variety of people reach out about different levels of interest. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's what you really need to make sure that yep. you have that community involvement. So are we looking for an action item on this right. business line you know, or just no. FYI? I, I have it all noted if you if you trust me to put it in the minutes to the foundation, which you will get and you will get. <laughs> so I will make that note that that this is what you wish from the foundation. Okay, they can move forward. So and I'm gonna ask him to leave the public comment because. I have a problem with talking, and I don't. And you have a phone that you can figure out the three minute issue. All right. Well, the other big Sandy rep did not like how I let public comment, but let's dive in. Is there any public comment? Everyone's encouraged to be polite. Well, it's not really a comment, it's a question. I know you probably can't answer me right now, but I'd like to. If you could, to I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I read the Big Sandy paper on mm -hmm. the Big Sandy library and stuff, which sounds like Darlene's doing an awesome job there. But I was really concerned because they talk about what a safe place Big Sandy library is, and knowing they have the same books, same everything that we do, and they also. See indicated so i'd like for that to be checked mm -hmm. on that she is taking people to the museums and stuff With like parents. that for the parents oh, there yes. that was they not indicated him. well in this interesting thing the, what the name, what the name, well the what wrote the article she was called on on that she so was. they had and then um, so darling never does this on her own no, or no. anything? She has so. the friends of the library. In fact, I went up when they did the post office. So when she leaves the library like that, who runs the library? Well, I don't. You you would have to ask start. I, I, I have to ask Emily. Well, I imagine. Well, well if she, she knew. I think that she knew she could answer that, yeah, but so I'm so just saying it's on the time cards. Okay. So I just wanted to see if you guys can figure it out, you know, and I just, it, it kind of upsets me when they talk about how wonderful and stuff. I'm happy, but this is a safe place here too. And I, I get tired of our libraries getting attacked saying we're not a safe place, but Big Sandy's is the same place. Mm -hmm. That's no, I know that was according to the world and article. Thank you, Susie. I think you've already stated your name then. Right? Oh, the Susie Felton, F E L T O N. <laughs> <laughs> For you. Um, would anyone else like to comment? Well, I have a short one. I'd just like to know who makes the selection for the special committee for the book selection, the periodic book selection. The, who makes this challenge? Who it's makes the selection for the civilian member? And is it just one civilian member? If there was two, then we were thinking about that. If there was two, then there'd be an odd number on the committee. And there wouldn't be any ties. 
So I think point. we're looking at developing that policy because as it currently stands, it's the chair of the board, the library director, a local library official. Um, why am I not remembering? Oh, I know um, just a community member. Oh, and another trustee, two trustees. Mm -hmm. Two trustees, yes, director, there. two community members. Well, it's a library. It would be like I think in the nineties, um, they had like a high school library in it. Sometimes it's a high school library, sometimes it's the elementary. I was when I where I was talking to, like we could expand that to like Count Great Falls. So if we needed Tracy Cook or one of the um, Great Falls librarians, um, and then potentially have it stated that it would not be the person, it could not be the person who is making the. The, uh, the, challenge. the challenge okay it would be and i what we don't have what we do not have is how that person is selected we yes. do not have that listed out at this point yeah so what we approved today lists the committee will consist of the chair of the board one other trustee the library director one community librarian professional and one community member at large which i take to mean lives resides in Shoto county right yeah. okay so, so you're asking who gets the vote yeah. right now? No, who he's asking how are you going to pick that community member at large? Right. And that right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Yes. I don't I do not think okay. that we know that, yeah. right? Yeah. We are looking if it goes to the county commissioners, if it goes to you guys for a vote, whatever, it's the only question I have. Okay. And if you don't know, that's that's fine too. But yeah. that is five people, so it's a tiebreaker. Right. Yeah. So but thank okay. you. That is all. Yeah. And you're Mr. Bill Woodrum. I am Mr. Bill Woodrum. Mr. Bill Woodrum. <laughs> From Oklahoma. I thought you said Oklahoma. So I explained to you all. I want the things discussed in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma right. died in Oklahoma. Yeah, <laughs> well, then explain to us. I said, this is the last. We'll get together on that later. Find out where in Texas you're from. Would, any, would anyone else like to comment, or are we good to adjourn? Yeah. I think we will uh, pass it back to Janet to adjourn if yes. Yeah, so our next meeting, our next meeting is the twenty seventh. No, I think yeah. you can just I'll just save the time. Oh, that would be great. Okay, okay. I'll join this meeting. Thank you. And our next meeting is the 27th of September at noon. So the change of time last month was because of some of So we're going back to our regular. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. 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 Thank you.